welcome back to my channel. So now that we're about a third or so of the way through Vlogmas, I thought it would be fun to do a video where you guys can get to know me a little bit better. I just recently passed 400 subscribers, which is a huge milestone, and I really appreciate everybody that has been watching my videos and supporting my channel, especially during Vlogmas. So I wanted to do Vogue's 73 questions interview just to like let you guys get to know me a little bit better if you're new or if we know each other in real life and maybe you'll learn something about me that you didn't know. So there are 73 questions in this interview. Obviously that's a lot. I don't want it to take too long and the style of this interview is supposed to be that you just kind of answer the first thing that comes into your head. So I will do my best to do that. And without further ado, let's just get started. What is your favorite time of day? Definitely the evening time, like around like four or five o'clock before it gets like too late into the evening. I love going for walks around this time, especially in the summer. In the winter, it's a bit gloomy, but around like the end of the day, that's my favorite time of day. What's your biggest weakness? I think that I over explain myself and I'm always worried about coming off perfectly and like reinterpreting every possible thing that somebody could think based on what I said and that prevents me from just being myself and saying what I want to say and being authentic as I could be. What's your biggest strength? I'm really organized. What's the biggest learning experience you've had? Um, the demise of my three year long relationship taught me so much about what I do want and what I don't want in a partner and I think that that is going to be really helpful to me as I go through the rest of my life. What's your idea of a perfect date? Um, thrifting, antiquing, and eating at my favorite restaurant. And then seeing a play at the end. What's one vice you wish you could give up? Um, I don't know. I don't smoke. I don't drink a lot really to begin with. I don't smoke weed. I don't know. I don't really have anything that like I'm trying to get rid of like that. What's a cause that's important to you? CASA! I just made a video about CASA. I'll link it up here if you want to watch it. It's a group I volunteer with that helps kids in foster care. You can learn more at the video. What's the best compliment you've ever received? Uh, in college, we did this thing called Don Rags, which is like hard to explain and I'm trying to go quickly. So basically it's where your tutors evaluate you to your face, but they talk about you like you're not there. And my freshman year, one of my favorite tutors, who is one of the people I respect most in life, she's one of the most intelligent people I've ever met. She said that a paper that I had written, she wished she had written herself because it was so brilliant. And that made me feel amazing. When are you the most inspired? Um, late at night. I think my most creative hours are from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., which is a problem and I'm trying to work on it because I don't sleep enough. Sweet or savory? Um, I'm gonna go with sweet. What song can you listen to on repeat? Um, there's a song, I don't know if it's a new song, but I heard it recently. It's called Back Pocket by Wolfpack, and I have been playing that song all day, every day. I love it. What makes you smile the most? Um, uh, my niece. She was just born. She's like two months old. I love her. I look forward to what I call my daily Natalie picture, which is when my sister sends me a photo every day of Natalie, which is my niece. What's one thing people don't know about you? Really nothing is coming to mind. Is that bad? Am I too open? I don't know. If there's something you don't know that you want to know, let me know. Heels or flats or sneakers? Um, I'm gonna go with flats. I don't wear sneakers a lot. I like putting on shoes that I can just like slip on and go. I do like wearing heels, but flats are a lot less effort. Vintage or new? Vintage! Vintage all the way, all the way. Almost everything that I own is secondhand. I like it better that way. I grew up with my dad being an antiques collector, so secondhand vintage all the way. What are three things you can't live without? Um, I would say my two cats and my sister. Window or aisle seat? Window, all the way. What's your current TV character obsession? Um, I really like Wednesday from the new Netflix series. I like the way she's characterized and I love her fashion. All the costumes in that show are amazing. Leather or lace? Um, I'm gonna go with lace. I do like leather if it's secondhand, but I don't own a lot of leather, so I'm gonna go with lace. What's the most adventurous thing you've done in your life? I don't know if this is typically what people would think of as adventurous, but it's the first thing that came to my mind, which was moving in together with someone and combining bank accounts when we had not been dating together that long. And it was a mistake. How would you describe yourself in three words? I would say organized, detailed, secondhand. What is your current favorite piece of clothing that you own? I have a pair of high-waisted black leggings from Girlfriend Collective and I love them. I've been living in them. What's a must-have clothing item everyone should own? High-waisted black leggings from Girlfriend Collective. What's inspiring you in life right now? Um, some of my favorite creators are also doing Vlogmas and I really look forward to watching all of their videos because it makes me want to keep going with making my videos. What's the best piece of advice you've received? Um, I don't know if this is the best, but it's the first thing that came to mind, which is if you wouldn't take their advice, don't take their critique. What is your pet peeve? People who are disorganized and bad at planning. Diamonds or pearls? Diamonds. What's something you notice about somebody when you first meet them? 
I work in luxury hair care nowadays, so definitely their hair. What's your biggest regret? All the time in my life I have wasted on my eating disorder and feeling like I wasn't good enough. What's heavily played on your music playlist right now? I think there was a question before that asked me my favorite song, so I guess maybe now I'll do the album I'm playing the most right now. Definitely still Taylor Swift Midnights. What's your favorite board game? Um, I'm a fan of chess. What's your guilty pleasure? Dr. Phil. What book did you most recently finish? So I'm currently reading two books right now and I'm trying to finish them both by the end of the year. I'm reading a book called Blindness by Jose Saramago, which I've been reading for a long time because I'm not actually reading it consistently, and also a book called Intuitive Eating. What are you currently reading? Oh, well, I just said that. So I guess to tell you what I most recently finished, which was the last question, I think it was Amanda Palmer's memoir, The Art of Asking. How do you start your day? Right now, I have really bad habits with starting my day. I pretty much start my whole day on my phone, which is not how I want it to be, and I'm working on changing that. What's your favorite holiday? Uh, I don't know. Can I pick my birthday? I don't really have a lot of connection with other holidays. If you could raid one woman's closet, who would it be? Um, there's a girl I used to work with. She left my company, but her name is Taylor. She has amazing style. I would love to check out her closet. If you could switch lives with a person for one day, who would you pick? Um, maybe my dad. Is that a weird thing to say? I feel like my dad's day-to-day -day life is so different than mine, and I'm kind of curious to know, like, what he experiences all day. What's one thing you've always wanted to try but you've been too scared to do? This sounds kind of silly, but taking the bus in Philadelphia. I really want to take the bus and I feel really nervous because the first time I use a new type of transportation, I always feel really nervous. So I think once I do it once and it goes fine, then it will be easier. What's the one thing you wish you knew when you were 19? When I was 19, I was a freshman in college. So the first thing that's coming to my mind is freshman year is wasted on the freshman. Besides your phone or wallet, what are a couple of must have purse items? So my purse is tiny, it basically is a wallet, so all that's in there is my keys, my cards, and my mask. If you are not a YouTuber, what would you be doing? Um, my job that I do anyway. What's something you can't do? Uh, I can't draw. I cannot draw at all. Where was the best vacation you've ever taken? I have not gone on almost any vacations as an adult except to Montreal, Canada, so I will say Montreal. What's one city you've always dreamed of traveling to? London and Paris, and with my job now, it's possible that I will get to go to those places someday, so fingers crossed. What's something you always travel with? My Glossier beauty bag. Favorite food? Um, Thai food. Favorite dessert? Hmm, probably cheesecake. Favorite snack? My most recent favorite snack is chocolate covered pretzels, but snacks are one of the hardest things for me to eat, so I'm working on that. Let me know if you have any good snack suggestions. What's a movie that made you cry? Um, the Green Mile. Also, Tarzan. Every time I watch Tarzan at the beginning, I feel like, oh, like, they're a family, they're so beautiful, they're gonna be together, and then, you know, everything that happens with the leopard and... Uh, makes me cry, even though it's like the first five minutes of the movie. What's your favorite movie of the last five years? I probably haven't seen any movies in the last five years. I'm so sorry. Like new movies that came out. I don't go to the movies. I don't know. What's one talent you wish you had? I wish that I could draw. I can't draw, but I really wish that I could. What's your favorite exercise? Walking. Walking is underrated. I love living in Philadelphia where I walk everywhere and I get my exercise in like that every single day. What's your favorite band? I don't think that I have one right now. What's your favorite fast food order? Um, chicken nuggets. What's something you don't want to be doing in 10 years? Paying rent. I would like to own a house within the next 10 years. What's the cutest thing on planet Earth? My niece and my two cats. What's the best thing that happened this year? I got a new job that I really like. What's your favorite cocktail? Moscow Mule. What movie makes you laugh the hardest? Uh, I don't know. What do you usually eat for dinner? Mm, something from HelloFresh. What do you usually eat for lunch? leftovers from my HelloFresh dinner. What do you usually eat for breakfast? Toast and scrambled eggs. What's your favorite thing in the world? My niece and my two cats. What's your favorite color? Pink. What color clothing do you wear the most? Black. What are three words to describe living in Philadelphia? Walkable, wacky, exciting. Do you like surprises? Yes, I love surprises. I don't like being surprised, but I like making surprises for other people. What's one thing you had to learn the hard way? Uh, I mentioned this before, but combining your bank account with somebody that you just started dating is always a very bad idea. What's something you're tired of? I'm tired of going to bed at 4 a.m. because it's really not helpful for me and it makes me literally tired. Who do you turn to when you're sad? My sister or my best friend Anna. What's a trend you would like to see disappear forever? Low-rise jeans and Crocs. They're both ugly. What did you want to do with your life at age 12? 
I probably wanted to be an actor. That was around the time that I was really getting into theater. And those are all the questions. I hope that was fun for you guys. That was fun for me to just kind of think off the top of my head and give whatever answer first came to mind. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you have any other questions for me, leave them down in the comments below and I will try to answer them. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye! Thank you.